Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically create new fresh test tickets from Google Sheets automatically. So the idea is that if I enter some details into my Google Sheet, a new ticket will be created automatically in fresh desk. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and fresh desk. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Sheets and fresh desk. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and this is my Freshdesk account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter some details into this Google Sheet and see whether a ticket will be created in Freshdesk automatically or not. So let us begin. We have the subject as uh, upgrade Macintosh. So this is the ticket subject and the description is Mac is slow these days. Okay. And the requester is Elon. And this is the requester email address Elon Musk. Elon Musk 67 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so these are the details. We have the subject that is upgrade Macintosh. The description Mac is slow these days. The requester is Elon and this is the requester email address Elon Musk 67 at the rate gmail.com. So let's have a look. Do we have the ticket in health desk? So let me just refresh uh, fresh desk. Okay, yes, we do have the ticket upgrade Macintosh and this uh, ticket has been assigned to a person called as Ann Richards. So the presence of this uh, ticket makes you wonder how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Sheets to fresh desk? So here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that has integrated Google Sheets and Fresh Desk. So let me just show you how it's done. So in the new tab, just type pably.com, p a w b l y.com. Okay, pably.com it is. So this is the website of pably.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pably. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. At the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets to Fresh Desk. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just straight away click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now in the choose app, let me just add Google Sheets because we want to send the data from Google Sheets. That is why Google Sheets it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so the essence is we are just trying to receive the data from Google Sheets into Public Connect. So this is a newly created Google Sheet and it basically has the same columns, subject description, requester and requester email. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to integrate this Google Sheet to Public Connect. So let me first click on add-ons. So when you click on add-ons, you will find an add-on called as Pably Connect Webhooks. Now Pably Connect Webhooks is an add-on that I have installed in my Google Sheet. Now since you are beginning fresh, Pably Connect Webhooks not, might not have been installed yet. So first of all, just click on Get Add-ons. So when you click on Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So in the search, just type Pably Connect Webhooks because this is the one we want. Pably Connect Webhooks. As you can see, the button is, uh, in my case, it's already installed. All you have to do is just click on this button and Pably Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now, after installing Pably Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again. After installing Pably Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Now, you also might have a question. Why the hell are we working on incognito mode? Well, the answer is very simple. If you are working with Google Sheets and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the problem of authentication. Okay, so let me just cancel this. So overall, the gist is we are integrating this Google Sheet to Public Connect. Now, uh, once we have installed this add-on, go back to Public Connect Webhooks, just click on Initial Setup. So this is the window of Initial Setup. Now here we have to fill two fields, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now there is something I should have told you earlier. As you can see, the, the column D is our last data entry column. I repeat this again. Column D is our last data entry column. Okay. So 
the column D is always the triggered column. Let me just go back to initial setup. Okay. So here we have two fields, webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now the trigger column is always the last data entry column. In our case, the last data entry column is column D. So I'm mentioning it as column D. Now we have to mention the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So this is the webhook URL you want. We have added the webhook URL. We have mentioned the trigger column. Let me just straight away click on submit. Okay, so we have uh, made a submission. So basically we have integrated this Google Sheet to Public Connect. So what I'm going to do here is once again, go back to add-ons, Public Connect webhooks, just do a, one minor thing that is click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column D is filled, it will keep on sending the data to Public Connect. And Public Connect is now ready to receive the data. Excellent. So what we're going to do here is we are going to make some entries. So we have the subject. So subject is upgrade windows. Okay, upgrade windows. And the description is um, windows 11 is here. And the requester is uh, Donald. Just Donald. And uh, the requester email is Donald Musk 78 at the rate gmail.com. Donald Musk 78 at the rate gmail.com. So we have the subject, we have the description, we have the requester and we have the requester email. Now, as you can see, the last data entry column that is column D or the trigger column has been filled. So let's have a look whether Public Connect has captured the details or not. Yes, we have the details in Public Connect. We have the subject that is upgrade windows. We have the description windows 11 is here and the requester is Donald and this is the requester email donaldmusk78 at the rate gmail.com. And of course, this is uh, the row number that is row number two. Okay. So we have got all the details. Now using these details, we are going to create a ticket in Freshdesk. And this is how you do it. You go to the action window and you select the app as Freshdesk. Freshdesk it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create tickets for existing con contacts. Just click on connect. We are going with the new connection. So in the new connection, you have to enter the API key, the account password and the Freshdesk subdomain. I'm sorry, Freshdesk subdomain. So we will start with the easy one. So this is my Freshdesk subdomain. Okay, I'm just going to copy this all the characters after STP and dot Freshdesk. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. So this is my Freshdesk subdomain. So now we have to enter the password as well as the API key. So this is my Freshdesk password. This is something I'm not going to tell you. Okay, just enter your own password. Okay, so I have entered mine. Now comes the most important part, the API key. So to get the API key, first of all, go to the profile. In the profile, you will find profile settings. Okay, so now in the profile setting, you will straight away find your API key at the right side. You copy this and you paste it here. Okay, we have entered the API key. We have entered the password. We have also entered the subdomain. Straight away, just click on save. As you click on save, you will find some fields. The purpose of these fields is very simple. We are going to create a ticket in Freshdesk from the data that we have collected from Google Sheets via Public Connect. Okay, so as you can see, a set of fields has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these fields is very simple. We are going to create a new ticket in Freshdesk from the data that we have received from Google Sheets via Public Connect. So we have the first field, that is the name. So if you remember, the name of the guy was Donald. So the, this guy was the requester. So we click here, we click here, and we have mapped the name, that is Donald. Then we have the description, we click here and the description is window 11 is here. The subject is we click here and win upgrade windows. Okay, so these are the details, upgrade windows and the description. So this is something that we have got from our Google Sheet. Now by default, it is showing the email. So these are all the contacts that is present in my Freshdesk account. So let me just show you that contacts. So all the contacts that is present here is being reflected here. Okay, so I prefer a guy called as Jerry Maguire. So he will be handling all these tickets. Now, uh, in case of status, let's keep it as open. We do have pending, resolved and closed. Let's keep it as open. The priority, I prefer to keep it as low. Okay, so at this point, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to create our ticket. So let me do that. Okay, so let's have a look. Do we have a ticket? Okay, called us upgrade windows. Yes, we do have the ticket upgrade windows. And this has been assigned to a person called as Jerry Macware. Excellent. And this is the description. Windows 11 is here. So the presence of this ticket indicates we have a successful integration between um, 
Freshdesk as well as Google Sheet. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize all those windows one by one. So we have uh, the trigger window, we have integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Freshdesk. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Freshdesk. Essentially, we have created a workflow to integrate Google Sheets and Freshdesk. Now all you have to do is just sit back and relax. And once you have created this workflow, anytime a new data is entered in Google Sheet, a ticket will be automatically created in Freshdesk. Excellent. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.